Okay, everybody, Dragon Wind here. Um, here showing my newest junk journal. I used a combination of the um, Easy Twine binding and the uh, Hidden Hinge system by Kathy Orda. It's a combo. <laughs> So it's a little eccentric. I uh, made this for someone. Here is the front cover. Here's the spine. And here's the back. I may have a little more embellishing that I want to do on it. And here's how I closed it. I just took the twine, left it a little long on the binding here. And bring it around the front and wrap it around this brad that I got from Holly, which is super cute. It's a balloon. Um, <clears throat> so that's how I closed it. Now on the inside, the hidden hinge system is ideal for a lot of uh, journals. Now this is very plain journal. I'm calling it a junk journal just because of the mix of pages that I put in here. Oh, if you look here, my camera is freezing up for some reason. Uh, if you look here, right there, I need to cover this up. That is the other side of the bread. I just put some tape over it. I need to cover it up. Um, like I said, it's very plain on the inside. I did not do a lot of decorating. I'm so sorry about this lighting, guys. So I used this parchment paper for the first couple of pages. And these first couple of pages are done with the easy... Uh, the... Uh, not the easy twine, but the uh, hidden hinge. If you look there, you can kind of see where the IE's card stuck. And this section I started. These are some of the papers I got from Melanie. I'm sticking to my resolution to actually use this stuff. So that's this section. That's the first signature. Those two, well, these three, uh, wait, one, two, three, four pages in the front are not, um, signatures. They're just loose pages that I glued down to the hidden hinge to cover it up. So that's this section. These, like I said, plain pages. And we have this page here. Same thing, I covered up the hinge with uh, this piece of notebook paper. And I rounded the corners with my corner punch from Melanie. And we have this next section. There's these beautiful double sided papers, also from Melanie. And parchment. And that is the next signature. All together there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight signatures in here. But they're thin signatures. So there's this one. And in the middle of this next signature, I made a small signature with rounded corners. I just patched work some papers together, left over from what the one the ones I was using, rounded the corner, and I put some blue printer paper on the inside of it. You can see the twine there. Some blue printer paper on the inside of it. So it's a little booklet inside the booklet. 
and this page I just put a book page one of my vintage book pages in there then we have is that the end of it? I don't know where the other page, the other side of this page went to. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know where it went. That's funny. I have no idea where that page is, guys. That is hilarious. Okay, maybe I'll run into it. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there it is. Duh. Okay. There's the other side. And that's inside of a parchment signature. And you see here, this gap here. I did that so in case she wants to put things inside of her signatures, she'll have room for it to expand. This next signature is blue pages with rounded corners. As are these. Next. This next signature is also. And then on this next signature, oh, it's upside down. Put this picture in from one of my vintage pages. That's the start of this signature. And then we have this next signature with these. Blue is the other side for the outside this time. I'm going to use this for the inside. And we have that. And then I made her <clears throat> folder or a big pocket. It's a. Uh, let me see if I can get something to stick in here. Here. I'm going to make some tags to stick in there. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. And at the top of it, it's a larger pocket here. So I'm going to make some bigger tags. Or I might make just one big tag and have some embellishments on it. And next one we have these polka dots the words on the inside I know you can barely make it out I do apologize and this last bit are these few parchment pages and that's it guys very simple because I actually want it to be written in. Um, I'm pretty sure from our conversation that she will write in it more so than anything. I did consider adding uh, a small signature of uh, drawing or uh, art paper, watercolor paper. And I still may do that. Um, because it's twine, I can just stick it in there. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, this is my first twine binding mixed with the um, mixed with the uh, hidden hinge. So sorry, I'm fiddling with it. But yeah, not bad for a newbie. I'm doing pretty good. Um, so yeah. Like I said, a little more embellishing. I'm going to do a little uh, embellishing around the edges to cover up my paper folds. And then I'm going to send it off. So thanks for watching, guys. Bless be.